Christ is risen. Christos Anesti. Christos Vos Crece. Continuing on the theme of our previous video, I wanted to clarify a few things and stress a few things. Firstly, the reason why we talk about having our spiritual senses become keen is because that way we will be able to recognize God. We had a beautiful example this past Sunday concerning the Samaritan woman who was considered an outcast by the Jewish people who were the true believers of the time. And our Lord approached her. Our Lord worked with her. He had a conversation with her. In like manner, he has conversations with us, even though it's not face to face. He calls out to us. And every time we hear the gospel passages, there are a lot of messages there for us to be able to grasp. He asked the Samaritan woman, give me water to drink. With the intention of having her ask of the Savior, give me water to drink of your water. And so our Savior filled her with grace during this conversation. He worked with her in a beautiful manner. And during this conversation, she was enlightened. Also, I want to clarify what we mean by catacomb Christians and crypto Christians. The catacomb Christians were the Christians in Russia who were the preservers of the true church in Russia during the communist period. The crypto Christians were on a very different level. Having lived in Boston for a few years, I've heard many stories from our Pondian Greeks, because we have many Pondian Greeks there, concerning the crypto Christians. But the crypto Christians outwardly were Muslim. And they had, uh, they tried to preserve their Orthodox faith, but it was definitely on a very different level. And they're all left to the judgment of God. And uh, God, who is merciful, can save whoever he wants. But I'm certainly not implying that we should become crypto Christians like those crypto Christians of Asia Minor. And neither am I saying that we should be like the catacomb Christians right now. There is no open persecution against the Christians. Uh, but what I am saying is that we need to be prepared by hearkening unto the voice of our Savior whenever he speaks to us and recognizing his voice whenever he speaks to us. And he speaks to us more than you think. He's always trying to convey messages to us. He speaks to us through the Holy Gospels. He speaks to us through the Holy Church. He speaks to us through the service of the Church. He speaks to us, he speaks to us through, through the service of God. And since we're on the theme of the Antichrist, I wanted to bring us to a higher level of thinking here. And uh, I want to bring to your attention what we chanted this past Tuesday in Mass. In the Pentecostarian, this is called a hymn of compunction. Please listen. O oh my soul, Consider well how we shall stand before the judge. At that dreadful judgment seat, terrible thrones shall be set up, and all men's deeds shall be laid bare for trial and judgment. For in that hour, the judge shall not be moved by pleas. Terrifying fire shall stand in readiness to overwhelm the hardened sinners with a great roar like a raging sea. My soul, consider well these coming terrors and correct all thy doings. This is what the church tells us in terms of preparation. There really aren't any hymns with regards to get ready for the Antichrist, but there are plenty of hymns with regards to get ready for the judgment. And having heard this, and having heard such like hymns, we are left with no excuse. We've heard it. We've heard the message. Depending on whether or not our hearts are hardened, or whether our hearts are softened and ready to hear the word, and the message of salvation, we will be judged. If our hearts are hardened, we have to pray that God will grant us the ability to understand these words. 
And if our hearts are softened, then let us continue on the work of salvation. Once again, we remind you all that this is the time where we will be able to connect with our Savior. We will have to give an answer for all the deeds that we've committed here on earth. And so that's why the best and safest way, as I've always said, is the way of repentance. This short period of life is nothing in comparison to eternity. Our life here can be likened to a grain of sand and the life beyond can be compared to the vast ocean, but actually there's no comparison. We're trying to convey now with, in human terms uh, something that is incomparable. So this short period of life is going to pass so fast. We know it. We've been to funerals. We know that people leave this life and one day it will be us as well. So may God grant us the ability to stand before him with pure consciences, having been made clean by means of repentance. Let us hear the word of the Lord and let us be wise. Let us not be foolish. May God grant unto us ears to hear his message. In that way, we will be able to understand what it is that we're doing when we practice our holy Orthodox faith. May God give us more understanding. May the understanding increase day by day, hour by hour. May we not go backwards, may we go forwards. And may God grant unto us the ability to discern, to have clarity of mind and heart, to be able to hear his message and understand him and see him for who he is and see the devil for who he is, to see virtue for what it is and to see sin for what it is. May God grant unto you all spiritual understanding. May God grant to us all spiritual understanding. Amen. Christ is risen.